Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to the wonderful world of war. Followed up with war and a side of war. We currently have Persia and the Timurids slugging it out with all of their various allies. We also have Gujarat and Jaunpur versus Miwar and Vijayanagar. They're slugging it out. And uh, we're kind of sitting here licking our wounds. Our manpower has fully recovered. We are at 22 soldiers out of 20, because why not? And I'm really itching for a war here, and I'm wondering, if I was to declare on Miwar to get this province back from my vassal, I'm wondering if Vijayanagar would even join against us. If they don't want to join against us, that'd be fantastic. I'm really curious to see here what happens. No, they will. Darn it. Alright, so we'll have to wait for his war exhaustion to go down. Okay, I'll wait. I'm willing to wait. In the meantime, let's get relations back up with Sindh over here. Wait, what the... Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, 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 he's in... Sindh is in the war as well. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's a bigger war than I thought. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Um, yeah, I think I do want a piece of that. This is such a weird situation here. And I'm going to try to keep an eye on this. I'm curious. Might as well get relations up with Persia. But I'm curious to see what happens over here. Because Persia has a smaller army than the Timurids. And their units are going to be worse than the Timurids at this point of the game. Later in the game, the units will be better at the same tech. But right now, the Timurids' units should be better. So it's interesting to see that the Persians are actually winning, but I think a lot of that has to do with their allies. Actually, they're losing the war. They're losing the war. All right. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, Vijayanagar is losing another battle here. Yep. If he loses too many of these, I should be able to declare the war without Vijayanagar joining against us. That's the goal right now. Kor in Serguja. Great. Kor in Mandla coming next. Let's do some more armories, shall we? Oh, wow. I haven't heard this song in forever. Wow. Welcome back to EU3. Alright, Bamanis just peaced out with Baglena. Baglena took three provinces from Bamanis. Really? Oh, wow. So Baglena got big. Bamanis got small. Oh. Wow. Bamanis is going to be tiny. Bamanis is going to be irrelevant after this. Well, no, I could vassalize him. Interesting. When can I next Malwa? 87, 7 years. Okay. Wow, what a back and forth war. What a back and forth war. Jean Poor, how you looking, bro? Jean Poor. He's down to 10 troops with 5 manpower. Oh, this is looking good for us. We're going to lose our ally Gujarat if we do this. Okay. Tell you what, I think the time has come to eat Jeanpour. I can't sit around on my ass anymore. Jeanpour must die. We have a claim on Patna for another two years. Let's get some more claims. We're going to have to reclaim Patna, by the way. Are there any nations we can release? No. But there are Delhi cores here. Okay. There is a country over here, Rokulhand. Looks like it's just one province, though. Pretty useless. Yeah, I'm not going to release Rokulhand. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll fabricate on the stuff that Delhi does not have cores on. So one, two, three, four. We'll fabricate on those four. We'll take those four. Then we'll go to war with Delhi. 
vassalize Delhi, and then we'll feed Delhi all of these cores, because Delhi's got tons of cores. That's the plan. I'm not sure if it's a good plan, but it's the only plan I have. Because Jean Poor right now is hurting. Super hurting. Oh, thank God the king is dead. Finally, Abun or Alaud Din Firuz III, Ilyas Shahi, has taken over a 640, and his son, a 224. Not too bad. Not too shabby. 28 years old. No, it can't be his son. It's got to be his brother. All right, so he takes the throne at 38. Unfortunately, I'm not really willing... Well, I guess I can spend the admin here. All right. Stability is a little expensive. Um, but since our legitimacy is so crap, and it's not going to get better for a long, long time, uh, we might as well just sit back and let shit happen. How? Oh, we have a strong claim heir. Okay, that means our king needs to be a general. And we just have to hope that Alaud Din Firuz III dies. Let me put him in an army here. We need him to die, because as soon as he dies, we'll be at 100 legitimacy. All right, where do we got rebels? Eight rebels in Barind. Where the fuck is Barind? Barind. Right there, okay. Eight. I just put the whole army there, whatever. Raise maintenance. Okay, and since we have low legitimacy, we now have the ability for a civil war. Legitimacy needs to be at least 75, have a regency council. Um, yeah, we're not going to get legitimacy to 75 unless our king dies. Oh, man. So the effects of the civil war are... Let's see, ruler, military power school, less than one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep, we're definitely going to have a civil war. So the way the Civil War works now is you get one if your king has less than one military strength. And we do. We have a zero military king, therefore Civil War. Fun! <laughs> so we can stop it by getting our legitimacy up or by getting a regency. So basically we need our king to die. Our king needs to die to stop the Civil War from happening. Okay, king. I'm rooting for you to die. Gujarat wants me to help in his war. Are you fucking kidding me? You're fucking kidding me, right? Oh, it's because we lost our marriage with Vaginagar. He's calling me in because we lost our marriage with Vaginagar. Um... No. Fuck off. Sorry. You're an idiot. Idiota. That should be full morale. Two point... Two point nine. Go for it. Actually, are you any good? He's a two two zero. Oh. Fuck that. If you want to take over, you better be better than a 220. Marriage with Sin. You got it. Wait, that's Malwa. Sure. Where's my marriage with Vaginagar? Wow, is that Jean Poor's whole army? Oh my god, this is Jean Poor's whole army. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh wow, look at Orissa. Holy balls. Look at Orissa. Yeah, Bamanis is just teeny now. Wow. Orissa got big. So the problem right now is, if I declare any wars, we're going to be so vulnerable. And I really don't want to be vulnerable. But I 
kind of feel like we have to do this war. If we don't do this war, we're just going to be stagnating for years and years and years. What stinks, though, is all of our allies are cordial, meaning they won't join us in offensive wars. Sind won't join. Vaginagar won't join. Nobody's going to join us in an offensive war. Delhi won't join. Maybe we can get Molten as an ally? No, he hates Sind. Hmm. Maybe we can get Gujarat back. Yeah, we can probably get Gujarat back. Although that negative 22 trust is kind of a pain. I might have screwed the pooch there. How's Orissa doing on troops? 7,000. Wow, Orissa's so weak. Did I look at that right? Is that really Orissa 7,000? Yeah, wow, Orissa is crap right now. Maybe I go for Orissa first. Allied to Madurai and Vinod. How many could they possibly have? Vinod has two, and Madurai has three. So five plus seven. They've got 12 troops right now. Wow. All right. Let's do that right now. Let's see if we can get our king killed. Might as well fabricate on East Barar while I'm here. And then we'll continue to fabricate on Jeanpour during his war. Is that war going to end anytime soon? It might. I don't know. They're at negative 20. If that war continues for a while, that'd be really good for us. I'm, I'm just going to keep fabricating on Jeanpour. Oh, wow. His entire army's in his capital. Although he is a tech up on us. But we'll catch up any day now. I will wait for the new units. What's coming up anyway? We have the Arquebrusé. Right. He's tech 6, we're tech 5. Well, we will be. Come on, gimme, give gimme give tech 5. Come on, gimme, 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 gimme. Me first and the gimme, gimme's. What a great name for a band. Gujarat wants our alliance back. You know, I want our alliance back too, bro. But you can't call me into bullshit wars anymore, okay? Deal? Come on, tech up already. There we go. Tech five. Now what sucks is our mercs are all the old the old units, and I think I'm just gonna keep the mercs the way they are. Because it would take too long to fire and rehire them all right now. Unhappiness among the merchants. Lose mercantilism or lose diplo. Well, looks like we're losing diplo. God, I hope my king dies in this battle. We'll lose two stability, but we'll be at 100 legitimacy if he dies, which will cancel the civil war. Civil war is currently progressing at one per month. It's at 15, so in... Now it's at 16. In 84 months, we'll have a civil war. Molten wants an alliance. I could do that. Pretty close. Hmm. What the? What the hell? Gujarat just moved their capital during a war. That must have been an event or something. That's so awkward. Burning, lose piety. Good. Give me that tech. What's our piety at? Negative 27. All right. Oh, goodness. Are we at full morale? We are. Okay. Do I want to get this alliance with Molten first? I think I should. Delhi wants help against Dundar and Punjab. If I do this, I can't uh, I can't get an alliance with Molten. So hold off. 
Oh, I still can't. 102 out of 102. Fuck! Oh, come on! This is so key for us right now because it means we'll take a less less aggressive expansion as we as we grow. 102 out of 102. Is there a statesman available? No. God damn it! That's so bullshit. Give me. <laughs> it's not gonna happen, is it? Ah. Oh. All right, we'll have to do Molten later. Gosh darn it. <clears throat> I really don't want to guarantee him. Because that gives me a truce when I break the guarantee. Ah, oh, that's so stupid. Fine, fuck it. I'll just ignore Molten. We'll do him later. Alright, his ally is going to join. My allies will not because they're all pussies. God, you guys are all pussies. Let's do it. Fuck off, Arissa! Pew, 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 pew! Slow down time. Please kill my, kill my king. Please. Plez. Plez kill king. Kill my king. Please. I will slurp my coffee if you kill my king. Hell, I'm gonna slurp my coffee anyway. You didn't kill my king. You had one job. I'm going to leave a couple mercs here. And the rest of us are going to go. Are you seriously attacking me, you motherfucker? Kidding me? I can't. I can't go. I better win this battle. I don't want to turn around right now because we're trying to kill his army. Don't make me go back there. See, if I don't, if I don't chase him right now, these these little guys are all going to merge up into a big army. Better win this battle. Okay, we got it. Squish. Squish. We're at full strength. This better be a squish. Yeah. Fuck off, Arissa. So now the task at hand is to just run around and squish his armies and then drop off little stacks everywhere. Alright, you guys are going to fall back and heal up. was doing his thing. Do you guys have claims down here? Nope. Nope. Okay. Is he even recruiting troops here? No, he's not. Okay. Yeah, we'll probably lose that battle here. We'll see. win this one, we'll probably lose this one. That's okay. Oh, he rolls a fucking nine. Fuck off. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's rolling really well. Alright, whatever. Not a big deal. So we'll clean up all those little stacks and we'll carpet siege. In fact, why don't I leave a, why don't I leave little one one little ones and twosies everywhere? Drop off another idiot here. I should be fabricating on Jean Poor some more. Let's get Patna back. Because we just lost that claim. Jean Poor, how are you doing on troops, by the way? He's at eight and he has four manpower. Do you have a siege pip? Oh yeah, this guy's got a siege pip. Great. That's a good way to kill your king, is just have him siege stuff all the time. Okay. I don't see anything else that we need to that we need to fight, but he is recruiting troops, so we should probably get down there before that recruits. What happens between the Timurids and Persia? Looks like the Persians took one. Looks like the Persians took two provinces. No, one province. They already had this one. The, Persia took one province. That's it. Oh no, they took this one as well. They took two provinces. Okay. Persia won. We have barely enough troops to do this siege. Really? He didn't die? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. And now we siege. Level two, level two, level two. Okay. Oh! We're gonna lose two stability when our king dies during a siege, but that's okay. We have enough points to pay up the stability, and we'll be at 100 legitimacy, which is so important. back up. I am a little concerned about Vinod and whoever else it was down here. Vinod and Madurai. I'm a little concerned, but so long as Vagina Guard does not give them access, we'll be fine. Yeah. God, 
102. We were so close to getting that alliance, and now we can't get it. At least not until after this war. Which is really disappointing. Gujarat wants our alliance back. I want it back too, bro. I want it back too. But we'll see. Ming has a regency. Okay. How about that marriage, Ming? It's not gonna happen. Not without a statesman. Oh, did Twitch not get my title? Wow. God damn it, Twitch. Alright, I'll do the title after this episode, but I, I already set the title. Twitch just didn't accept it, apparently. Hmm, someone else just declared on Arissa. Oh, no, a different war. Lanzong and Champa. My bad. Alright, diplomat available. Do I want to go back to Gujarat or not? Uh, I kind of do. Let's get our marriage back with Sindh. And Delhi. Well, no, no, no. Delhi, I don't want to marry. Well... No, we're fine. We don't need a marriage. Right, go back to Gujarat. In real history, Bengal was partitioned. In Shen history, Bengal partitions the world. Indeed. Indeed. Country before faith. Gain prestige. Cool. Let's see, four revolt risk, okay. And how much? Four point five. Okay, that's not that bad. Top off Sind. Oh, we can't. Who's this? Miwar. Yeah, sure. I know I insulted you, Miwar, but this is not the time for insults. Surprised Ma was not helping us out here. He sieged one province and now he's not doing anything. Alright, fabricate on Gorakhpur. Kill my king! Kill my king! Wait, he's not a king. He's a sultan, right? He's a sultan. Kill my sultan! Do it now! Do it now! Merchants worried about lack of protection. Gain mercantilism. I like mercantilism. I really like mercantilism. Now, we're not going to take too much in this war. I'm going to take three provinces. Unless... Unless I want to get to border with Vijayanagar. I don't think I want to border with Vijayanagar, though. If I get up over with Vijayanagar, we would lose our alliance, like, instantly. Yeah, give me that. Look at that. Negative ten years of nationalism. So good. Although that also means we're not going to have enough points to core anything after this war.
Jeanpour will annul treaties with Molten. Jeanpour by four. Okay, so Jeanpour's at peace. Jeanpour has peaced out. He still has eight soldiers, so he's still dangerous. He's still the same tech as me. And if Molten wants this alliance, he would help us against Jeanpour in a heartbeat. Okay. Yeah, I know the timer's gone off. Hold on. I'll, we'll do the. We'll end the episode soon. Don't worry about the timer. Let's try speed 5. Pegu has declared one a rockin'. Buy a rockin'. Cool, cheaper ideas. I wish that had happened before I popped my idea. <laughs> it's just a random event though, you don't know when it's gonna happen. How long does that last? Cheaper ideas. For 5 years, okay. We might get another idea in before then. Especially with this king, this king's got so much admin points. Maul was over here. Okay, I'll get out. Come on, kill my king. Kill my king! Kill my sultan! He must die! What idea did we take? We took humanist. Get a claim over here on Baurach. And then I think we're ready for war with Jeanpour. As soon as this one's over. Really solidify ourselves on the Indian subcontinent. Assuming Melton still wants our alliance after this war. Fuck, I hope he does. What if he doesn't? What if he doesn't want our alliance anymore? Wouldn't that just suck balls? Because we were at 102 out of 102. We could have guaranteed him to get the alliance. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I should have done that. <sighs> Hindsight, man. Hindsight. Alright, let's go ahead and blockade this shit. Actually, you know what? We don't need to. We don't need to, because the two provinces we want, they're already positive siege progress. Well, the coastal one is, so blockade's not going to help that. Donation. No, I don't need piety. Negative 27 piety. Okay. Come on, kill my king, please. Please kill my king. All right, there goes the target province. That'll give us ticking war score. Great. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Oh, Jean Pierre's up to 13 guys already. Fuck off. Man, he's building troops fast. I guess it's because he's at peace. How long's our claim for? 90. Five more years. Okay. As soon as uh, Garjet falls, should be able to peace out. Get out of there. We're almost done. Hang in there. Garjet will give Miwar tax. Okay. We'll cede Patan to Mawar. We'll release Kathawar. Wow, Gujarat just got wrecked. 
Wow. They gave lands to Vamanus. Oh, wow. Gujara got fucked up. Nice. That means when we declare on Jeanpour, Gujarat won't really be a threat against us. Are you small enough to vassalize? No. Interesting, though. <laughs> he was doing so well, and then he got wrecked in that war. I think a lot of that was due to Vaginagar. Vaginagar was the reason he got wrecked. Come on, finish the siege. I want to go peace. Give me this. Give me the siege. Let me peace out. Let me end the episode, please. Please. <clears throat> hey, lose inflation. Wow, that's rare. Still no statesman, huh? Master recruiter. Not quite the same. Now, if I could get Vaginagar into this war, that'd be so good for us. Because then he would have the same truce that we have. And we're still not sieging the right province. Still not sieging the right province. Man, everything else is falling but, but the one I want. Isn't that always the case? Look at this. The entire coastline's falling. And the only thing I want is this stupid inland province. It just won't fall. Just so unlucky. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Now he's not going to join the war. Maybe he goes friendly. Maybe if he goes friendly. We're married. We have plus 100 relations. I just don't see it happening. Like, I don't know what's going to make him go friendly. Oh my god. How many times can we fail? Oh, we finally got it. Okay. Do I want to sit around and get this guy in the war? Hmm. We're only 31 months away from a civil war. Our king needs to die within 31 months. Our sultan. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep putting my sultan uh, into these sieges. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll die. You die now. Come on, VJ. All right, it's so the last siege. Hopefully he'll die. And VJ still won't join. You know what? It's probably it's probably worth it to wait. I'll get VJ in the war, and then we'll peace out. Yeah, it's worth it. That way, VJ will have a long truce, just like we do. That way, VJ won't grow. Alright, well, if it's going to take this long, why don't we end the episode here? We'll come back next time. We'll peace out after we get VJ into the war. He will join, maybe about a year from now. I'll see you next time, everyone. Have a good day.